I think we should have disco balls in the studio. Look. Oh, we have to have a permanent disco ball here. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Hello, everyone. I am back with the promised New York City Hall video. Really excited to share the stuff that I brought back from NYC. And I'm not just talking about objects and things. I'm also talking about like things that inspired me and the things I'm taking away from my trip and the sketches that I did. So not just physical stuff, other stuff too. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully it goes smoothly and I don't forget anything, but we'll see. Let's go. What should we do first? Should I do stuff? My way of researching trips is the day before asking you guys what I should do. Especially like when my friend's like, oh, we'll all research. I'm like, yep, yep, we'll all research, can't wait. And then I have the best ideas. I just waltz in, I'm like, I'm a local, I'm amazing. The package free stuff was something that was already on my list, but also you guys mentioned it too. So I'm very excited about that. We're not like environmental warriors or like anything like that, but we do try and do our best to do what we can. I got a lunchbox. This is gonna encourage me to go outside more as well. I'd like to start meal planning a little bit more so I'm not always eating out because I'm really, really busy right now. As you know, the first thing to go is my cleaning. The second thing to go is making food at home and it's not good. I got some um, cleaning cloths. They're recyclable as well. I don't know, I just thought we should use them because we do use paper towels and I'd like to stop doing that where we can. So we got these to try out. One of them's already been used. I also got some organic cotton. <laughs> Why is that such a tongue tick twister? Why is tongue twister a tongue twister? Organic cotton cloth wipes. I mentioned, um, someone asked me about my beauty routine a while back and I mentioned that I don't really use anything to wash my face or I didn't at the time. I basically just use like cotton balls and water. And someone was like, why do, why do you use cotton balls? Such a waste. I was like, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. I can use a few of them for my face, but then you can also use them as napkins, tissues, washcloths, anything that you would use like a paper towel or a cotton ball or anything like that for, you can use these for. So I thought that I would do that to reduce the amount of waste because I do use the cotton balls every day, which is not great, or I did, but now, So, oh yeah, and the other thing we got, which I don't have with me here because it's in, in where, wherever our grocery bags are, are just like produce bags. That we don't use the little bags at supermarkets anyway, but it just means that we're like struggling to hold all the oranges. So I thought that I would just get these so that, it, that it, it eased that a little bit. What about the bubble tea straw? Oh yeah. There's one in the drawer. I also got a bubble tea straw because we have a lot of bubble tea. I know stopping to use plastic, maybe I should sit down. <laughs> I know that it doesn't really affect like the world that much, but it's just, it's just about like trying to use less, I guess. Like it's definitely better. And if it makes no difference, at least I feel good about it, you know? I'm looking at you, sweet. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Okay, now I want to show you this exciting thing that I got. One of the other things you guys suggested was like lots of cool stationery stores in New York. And we went to this one called Goods for Study. I guess it's just stuff for students, but I like it's really, a lot of it's quite expensive. They have like calligraphy pens for like hundreds of dollars. So I'm like, can students really afford this? Like, what student is gonna buy a calligraphy pen? Anyway, it doesn't matter. One of the stores was for like writing implements and drawing implements. One of them was for like journals and stuff like that. I got two erasers. One is for um, colored pencils, I think is what I read. And it's fluorescent yellow, very into fluorescence right now. And the other is just cause it's adorable, but it feels like it's a good soft eraser. So yay. And I always need those cause you know. I'm human, I make mistakes. <laughs> um, and the other thing I got was this sharpener. It's really, really heavy. I really, really like it. It has two sizes, but I've never seen one like this before. So I was just really excited to get it because I needed another one anyway for travel. Oh no, it's getting heavier. Okay, the next thing I'm really excited to show you is- Should we just pause? Why? So the next thing, it sounds like maybe they are wearing like a raincoat on it. <laughs> like a lot of the happiest moments I had in NYC, that's what the locals call it, is hanging out in parks. The parks in New York are so lush, especially the time of year that we went, they were so green. Like as you would have seen it in my last video, like my drawing video, you would have seen how green it was. It was so lovely. Like we don't really have 
parks that are that lush and people were just hanging out. There was musicians, there was squirrels, amazing trees, kids running around. It was just really, really good vibes. And in one of the parks, which I think was Washington Square Park, am I right, Rocket? Yes. We saw from across the way, it was like a stand with prints on it. And it had this spiky sign that said Rezo back. And I was like, Rezo. And we just started walking like this right to the guy. And I'm pretty sure he was just like, what the hell's going on? Because he said that he saw us beelining him. What is it? It's a Rezo bike. Oh my god. And then I was like, oh, can I please take a photo of your bike? Because I wanted to show Alyssa from Pinch Press, my local Rezograph printers. And he was just like, oh, I don't know. And then we just started talking about Rezograph. And then he was like, oh, you know Rezo? You can take video. Go ahead. So we took some video. We talked for ages. And basically he just gave me a bunch of colour charts, which was so, so, so nice. I have color charts from um, Pinch Press, but these ones are interesting because they are pretty extensive. For example, this one's focused on steel. I mean, you'll see it in the close-ups, but this one's focused on steel and then it mixes steel with every color, including itself, so that you can see like the different tones, how they mix, how light they can go, like kind of the nuance of it. This one's green and they're just very, very cool. And I was just like, look how many there are. It was so lovely that he did this. He actually said that one of you talked about me to him because I was talking about my work and he wanted to see. And so I went, I was trying to like, you know, when you like go through your time, you're like, oh my God, which, which one should I show him? Which one artwork is the artwork that represents me perfectly? And he saw my rainbow Rezo print. And he's like, wait, someone came up to me and asked if I had any rainbow prints because a uh, illustrator that they liked from Australia made rainbow prints. What do you think? He might not have been talking about me, but it, it sounds pretty like, I'm not trying to be self-centered. I just feel like how many Australian artists does this person know from the internet that made rainbow Rezo prints recently? And he said it looked like mine. Arrogant. <laughs> All right, I'm a narcissist. So this is, this is like really, really amazing. This is like a free thing. So I bought a artist print, which I think is actually adorable. He had like a his own work there, but he also had like other artist work. So I definitely recommend going down and checking out the stuff that he was selling. If you want artwork, Rezo is a really, really awesome one because it's pretty archival, but it's also got that nice like analog feel and kind of like, oh, it's so pretty. It's just a little face. I mean, you'll see it when I do the closest. I don't know why I'm going, but I'm already gonna have footage. That is the stuff portion, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I did get a skirt, it's here. Next, I have the sketches. I think I'm just gonna show you my sketches and like the footage that goes along with it, and I'll see you afterwards. My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking about what brings me down, yeah. My favorite way to be without fear is in the now, I'm learning how. Fast life, no thanks, no I'm doing just fine. One foot in another Floating, enjoying my freedom Singing off key Basically when I travel I, I do like to do a lot of I'm observational under. stuff Because it helps me like remember the parts that really stood out to me the most and it's also a good opportunity to do life drawing of things that I don't have access to at home. Um, for me this trip it was mainly plants because it's a big part of my next book which I'm working on at the moment. I literally stopped doing the end papers of my book to film this video. <laughs> So I'm really excited that I got to do that. It's not something that I was like, oh, I'm gonna go over there and draw a tree. I just brought a sketchbook and then that happened to be what I filled it with because the parks were so nice. Oh my God, I spat it everywhere. Doing just fine, one foot and another. Floating, enjoying my freedom, singing off key. I like it better. Experiences and like inspo and stuff like that. Inspo actually came from like really weird places this trip. One of the things was the Airbnb that we stayed at. First of all, I gotta get on top of cleaning because my house is messy as hell and I feel like I'm happier when it's clean but I just hate cleaning so much. So it's like this, happy when it's clean but you clean so you're a bit sadder but you're more happy than you were if it was messy. And I think I'm doing a good job at the moment. What do you think, Rocket? I think we're doing well. Even though we're busy, I feel like we're maintaining the house better. A buff little baby I can dance like a man. 
I can shake in my booty. I can shake in my can. Punch out your buns. Punch out your buns. If you're an evil witch, I will punch you for fun. So that's one thing. And also like thinking about moving because although living in a warehouse is very, very cool and we have a lot of space, um, it's also a little uncomfortable in some ways like we don't have any side windows and whenever I see side light especially in people's videos or just like being in rooms at friends houses that have side light it's always like oh, amazing it just looks so nice it's so cozy also this living under a flight path <laughs> another inspo slash thing I'm taking away from New York is remember that show we went to sweetheart Rocket's friend was having a show. It was very intimate. It was just like a little showcase. And when we walked in, there was like this rapper guy there. His name was Bleep Blop Blop. He was really good. Like he had really good vibes. Like I don't listen to a lot of rap, but I really, really enjoyed it. He just was like, Grooving. After that, Rocket's friend and his band played, and they were really good too. Except I was really jet. Oh, we should show them the video. Oh my god! <laughs> I was really, really jet lagged at the time. I take a long time to get over jet lag because I have no like self control when it comes to naps. I was there. I was enjoying it, and I had my my legs over Rocket like this. Like my legs were over like his leg, and he was like holding me up, and so I had like fallen asleep on Rocket for like 15 minutes. I had the deepest sleep. I even dreamed. Rocket began to film, but just as he began to film, the crowd started clapping. You guys have two more, you guys have been awesome. Just such a pure moment. And like my eyes rolling from the back of my head. I just love it. Anyway, so like going to that, I don't really go to a lot of live music anymore. I used to when I was younger, but I just don't enjoy crowds. I'm also quite busy so I don't make time for it. It's not, not a priority for me at all. But after going to that, being in the room with someone that's really trying to chase their dream and just like having a good time doing it was so invigorating as well. And it was like such a good mood instigator. So I want to do more of that. Of course, another thing I got from this trip was I got to meet Squarespace. You guys saw it in my last video. It was such a pleasure. Like when clients that you love are actually lovely and like people that work there seem to love what they do, it makes it a million times better. It's like you're, you love what that you do, they love what they do, you love what they do, and they love what you do. It's just like, does that make sense? It's like just really nice, like positive vibes all around. If you would like a beautiful website, go to squarespace.com slash peach. You'll get a free trial and a 10% discount on your first purchase. I've seen a lot of people ask about what theme I'm using, which means people are building websites with Squarespace, which is really great. I think I've said it before, but I use Supply. I'll show you guys what that looked like. Beep but also this is what it looks like with my work. So the themes that Squarespace have are really, really good because they're basic enough that your work can transform it, but complex enough that it looks really beautiful and sophisticated. And also it's always mobile ready. It's not distracting because you've got like a different shop platform and then you've got a website platform, then you've got a blog platform and you're clicking out of the links and like, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's good to have it all in one place. And obviously I personally love Squarespace. Thank you for Squarespace for sponsoring. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to share this with you. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was interesting. And I hope that if some of you are going to New York, it opens your eyes to not just like the shops, but also just getting stuff from your surroundings. And yeah. Oh, I'm going to LA. Oh my God, give me recommendations for LA. I'm going to be in LA in 30 days for Adobe Max and I'm going to Seattle as well. <gasps> okay, give me recommendations. Okay, bye guys. I'm gonna go watch Shutter Island and do some drawing now, bye. Surprise. <laughs> oh, we crack ourselves up. Welcome to Spooky Stories with Sean Donthys. The sound that girl makes in Hereditary. The twist in Ex Machina. When you've got cramps and you need to go outside.